three inside the first round. 22, and uh, seems to be improving. Tony Booth, who's really been around, he's giving away over six pounds here, the journeyman from Hull, Tony Booth, who uh, was feeling pretty sick this morning um, and happily has recovered from that in time to fight here. So Tony Booth in the white trunks, the purple of Phil Day from Swindon. Booth, who's 27, who's been in with uh, any number of champions. Lost to most of them, but did beat Tony Wilson, former British light heavy champion. Drew with him and beat him as well. So it's a good little test, this, for Day, who's on a bit of a roll at the moment. He's from the Chris Sanagar camp down in the West Country, fights out of Swindon in Wiltshire. Introduced by the MC is in the heavyweight division. They are, in fact, cruiserweights. So they will be quite confident, but against a lesser opponent, Booth can be quite effective. He's been in with some big, big names, and you know, he's found it very difficult against them, but you know, it just brought down every now and again into a different class. He gets a, you know, a win. Very knowing professional Tony Booth. Still only 27, and this is his 72nd fight tonight. So I think he's going to be one who joins the Elite 100 Club. Day lost three of his first four fights, but has improved markedly since. A little bit untidy, a little bit too much holding. He is trying to lead off. The Booth come back with some crisp little counters, but then too often looking to hold inside. And they have to get their work done quickly here because it's only a four rounder. Just a reminder of the colours again. In case you're still confused, Phil Day in the purple trunks, Tony Booth in white. It's not a great deal of clean work and definitely a bit of head work there from Day. And he's going to get a warning about that from Jeff Hines, who's having a busy and controversial night. Well, there certainly was well in order there to warn Day about the use of the head. It did look like a bit of a butt. A lot of holding on inside going on here by both of them. <laughs> Tony Booth winks at Glenn at ringside. <laughs> well, we've seen him often enough on these shows, haven't we? <laughs> He actually boxed my, my younger brother, Sean, on a couple of occasions. Did he? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah I've, I've seen him in close quarters. So there is Tony Booth. Tough old survivor he is. But uh, he seems to have come into this one with a bit of ambition. Not always been the case. He's had some uh, tough matches down the years. Beaten in a round by Crawford Ashley, the... <laughs> talented British champion. But he's boxed for the Commonwealth title, lost in two rounds to Franco Wanyama. Uh, his best result was a draw with Ralph Rocchigiani. Now the WBO champion. He's fought Neville Brown, Morris Corr, James Cook, who was a European champion, Victor Cordoba, who was a world champion, Torsten May, Dean Francis, who beat him in a round, and so on. And he's got a little bit of damage by the left eye there, maybe. And, uh, Bruising, it looks like, not a cut. Second round. Phil Day of Swindon in the purple trunks and Tony Booth of Hull in the white. Booth weighing 13 stone five. Giving away a bit here because Day's 13, 11 and a quarter. Good left hand from Day there. Good hand speed too. Still not 
from a, a great deal of clean punches being landed. Dane's trying to get his jab working, but some inside glove stuff from Booth. It is landing, but a little bit slappy with it. Walked onto a left hand day there, and he's just swelling a bit by the right eye, I think it is, Phil Day. That eye just starting to close. Got a lot of untidy stuff going on inside. Yes, Booth's a little bit guilty of that. He's landing with little choppy left hooks inside, but he's also guilty of holding. You can see it there with the, the right arm. He's locking that and stopping Day from working. That right eye could be quite a problem for Day. It seems to be closing quite fast at the moment. right cross as they worked inside but uh, game booth holding and denying day room to work and uh, I think the referee quite rightly wants this cleaned up a bit yes I think you, it's got another great deal of scoring work here just getting a little bit of room there with booth on the back foot and landing with some a left hook which got through that's a good right hand as well day's got the reputation of being a fair puncher but he might do well to put Tony Booth away here inside four rounds. How does that eye look to you, Glenn? That right it looks, eye closing, it looks very it? bad. I think that's obviously with this little choppy left hook, which, which Booth keeps firing at there. So he's obviously getting through with that punch, but not enough clean work from Booth. He's just grabbed with the right hand a little too much. Well, that was a little better. Again, those punches looked a bit on the slappy side. They are a little bit. They are, sorry, and they are a little bit with the, the open glove there as he's square on. Well, they seem fairly evenly matched, don't they? Yes, it's a, a good match. If I would give um, Booth the first round, and I'd probably give Deer that round who's just looking to try and land with cleaner punches booth just spoiling his own work a little bit by looking to, to grab with his right hand and not allow dare to work so he's just got to clean that up and try and get off with a, a few more cleaner punches let's look back on some of the action from the second round that wasn't a bad left hand was it from phil day Headshots landed, uh, well, double the amount from Booth, more than double the amount. Corners, right eye doesn't look too clever for Phil Day. He should get through, although the referee Jeff Hines will keep a close watch on it. Remember, this is only four rounds, and uh, Phil Day in the purple trunks worn off by all the boxes from the Chris Sanagar camp. Who <laughs> wants to hold on? But this is better from Deer, just using the, the jab to better effect here, just trying to keep it cleaner. Booth again looking to get in close and then grab with the right arm. Booth, I'm sure, will forgive us for saying that uh, he's very much at the journeyman stage, though he has boxed for titles in the past. He comes in, does his best, gives an account of himself, but um, how can I put it? He's not broken hearted if he's beaten. No, he's, he's very much a journeyman type, have gloves, will travel, and will always try and put up a, a good performance. If he, you know, if he gets a bit of confidence and he thinks he can do something, then you know, he puts a little bit more work into it and you know, does a little better. Well, he's getting through today here. Very, very good cluster of punches from Booth there. And 
looked disorientated for a moment, Phil Day. I think this closed right eye is certainly hampering him quite severely. Well, he's just demonstrating what I was talking about. Now he, you know, he's got a little bit of confidence. He thinks, you know, Diaz, maybe he's there and he can get a win here. Now he picks the pace up and looks a different fighter altogether. Day is looking tired. Breathing heavily, and Booth's definitely got through to him in this third round and has taken over the fight. Booth is without a win in his last six contests. He may end that run here. Well, it's quite a recovery from a man who was sick this morning, Glenn. Yes, a, a very good recovery. He's boxing now full of fire and throwing lots of punches. And still, Day, I think he's dispirited now about this injury he has, and Booth is starting to knock him around here. Referee takes a close look, another right hand. Big, big round this for Tony Booth. Yes, it looks like all the heart's gone out of Day, and it's, it's there for Booth now. If he can just throw a cluster of punches. He looks very dispirited, Day. Looks as if all the resistance and ambition has gone out of him here, Phil Day. And he's still a pretty tough old cookie, Tony Booth. And not so old at 27 either. Well, well, he, he might be struggling to remember when he last had a round <laughs> as good as this one. Tony he certainly Booth. had a good round here. He just grew in confidence, didn't he? And then he knew he'd heard there lots of good punches and almost a, a different fighter when he's when he feels that he, he can upset a fighter. Did really well here. Very good round from had Day and all sorts of problems. There's a good right hand. And throughout that round, Day was looking at the corner, looked very dispirited. Yes, he's... Uh Looks a bit of a broken man in there at the moment, Phil Day. Not to be too over dramatic about it. He was stumbling around the ring at this stage. Sixty-one percent success rate in that round for Tony Booth. I'm saying earlier on he's not broken-hearted if he gets beaten, but at a certain level like this. Pride comes back into play, doesn't it? He, he feels that he can be beating fighters like Phil Day. Sure, I mean, this is a man who's been there with, with lots of good fighters. And as we said, got a draw with Ralph Rocciglioni, who's the cruiserweight world champion at the present time. So he is capable. You know, he, maybe mentally he just fell into that journeyman mode. But, you know, he can, he can every now and again just put some good boxing together. This is the last round of this one. No doubt about it. Booth won the third round in a big way. Now then, Jeff Hines wanting a word here with Booth. I think some infringement from Day. I'm not sure if he used the head again. I think, yes, he's used the head. He was wincing Tony Booth. Or if he took him the corner and then administered a bit of a talking to to Phil Booth. Phil Day, sorry. So all, all everything points to Day just being a little bit desperate now. Use of the head. He's had warnings about that in this fight. A lot may depend here on how the referee scored the first couple of rounds. Wasn't an awful lot in those two. But Boo must be winning this fight, surely. Yes, I think on my card he is. I think I could have maybe given Deer the points in the second round, but the third was a big round for Booth, and Booth well on top again in this round. Oh, walks into another left hand there, Day. And he looks exhausted as well. 
Well, if he thought that Tony Booth was just coming here to pick up his money and lose, tonight, Cordes had another thing coming. Booth has rediscovered some fire and ambition in there. He has. He's on, on form now. He's boxing well. He's really got day and bits of trouble here. They're very disorganized and there's very little fight left in him. And feeling so confident that he gave us another wink at ringside. <laughs> I think he's, is, he's enjoying this, isn't he? He's so used to us seeing him lose. He's, he's happy now that he, he feels that he's winning this one. And again, head punches thudding in. And Day is finding this now an extremely unpleasant experience. Such a contrast from his last fight when he had the job done inside 30 seconds. Well, there goes the bell to end it. Booth has surely won, he has indeed. Jeff Hines didn't need to consult his scorecard. He reached for his back pocket and thought, nah, don't really need to look at it. I know who's won this. And uh, Tony Booth gets his first win after six contests without one. And Phil Day's run of three successive victories is brought to an abrupt halt. And he can't really complain about it either. Did well there, didn't he, Tony Booth? He did. He suddenly he got a little bit of confidence, realised that he could handle himself in this sort of class and a, a lot better work. Really applied himself, and you know he's very much in the journeyman role lots of times. But this time he thought he could win, sensed it, and really went for it. And um, good to see him get a win. Broke Day's spirit as well as inflicting that nasty injury to the right eye. Let's hear from our MC, Mike Goodall who will tell us what the margin Ladies was. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the referee scorecard at the end of four rounds reads Phil Day, 38 and a half points. Tony Booth, 40 points. The winner, Tony Booth. Three rounds to Booth and one even was how he saw it. Uh, Booth, a convincing winner there. And his new record, 23 wins, 42 defeats and seven draws. He'll enjoy tonight. Life and Solar Boxing, Tony Booth. And Nicky Piper, I just wonder.